Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to today's event, the last and final event of the project Jubilee Justice Without Litigation. First of all, I'd like to welcome the representatives of the EU institutions, European Parliament and European Commission, which is strongly Ladies represented today. A very warm welcome to today's event. The there's another there's another guy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I also would like to welcome the representative, the HJA councillors of Croatia, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Italy, Slovakia and Slovenia. And from Strasbourg, members of the Council of Europe's SEPESH Secretariat, they are following the event via live stream, to which some of the speakers are also connected. And thank you for coming to all. There seems to be quite some interest in the topic. At the beginning, a uh, slight warning, as you can see, pictures will be taken on this event. And as mentioned, there will be an online live stream. So in case you miss anything, you can watch it later at home. Today, we will discuss the results and findings of the Jubilee project. And it was an enormous project. It lasted for nearly two years. Many experts have been involved it's the largest interdisciplinary study of non-contentious proceedings by notaries in Central Europe ever done. The project was initiated by notarial chambers of six countries, a platform called Hexagonale, and those six countries are the Czech Republic, Croatia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Hungary, and Austria. The starting point was the EU succession regulation, and another starting point, the fact that the matter of non-contentious proceedings seemed to be under-researched at the EU level and uh, not enough reflected in the EU justice policy instruments. The project therefore focused on two main, main tasks. The first one was to analyze the term court in EU law and to propose a uniform definition of the term court for all EU legal instruments. And secondly, the project tries to better understand the court functions executed by notaries. And for this, two reports have been created, one legal and one economic, and we'll talk about it today. And furthermore, a special task force tried to improve practical matters. This task force has studied possible developments of digitalization to promote and to facilitate communication and cooperation between notaries in Europe. Today we will learn a talk about all the results of the findings, about the two big reports and about the new digital tools that have been created. Before all that, we will have the welcoming speeches. We are here at the Canoe office, so I would like to welcome the president of Canoe this year. It's the Italian notary, Mr. Giampaolo Marcos, and because of the strike, he has to come to us and speak to us via video. Dear presidents, uh, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, an honor to speak today at the final conference of the Justice Without Litigation project, of which the CNUE is a partner. As an institution, we are proud to have taken part in this project. All the more remarkable since it is the first time that the notaries of the Central Europe work together in a project supported by the European Union. I would like to personally thank Sala Sashtemon Yen, Director of Civil and Commercial Justice of the European Commission, for this unfailing support in this year. At new level, your work is valuable input, fully illustrating good notary, notarial practice in non contentious justice. For example, the Jubilee project was mentioning in the last report of effectiveness of the notarial profession published by the Council of Europe and its European Commission for the efficiency of the justice. 
For several years, we have been witnessing a substantial movement with the European Union. Governments decide to delegate certain powers to the notaries with the aim of reducing the workload of courts and making justice more efficient to benefits of citizens. This is the case in the area of family law, for example. In several countries, the authentication of matrimonial property agreements, the formalization of marriage or divorce by mutual consent before a notary. This, this is also the case, for example, with regard to the recovery of claims or the protection of the vulnerable person. Another positive aspect of the Jubilee project is its contribution to the networking, networking of Central European notaries. As online cooperation mechanism has indeed been set up of the online platform of the European notary, Notarial Network, the ENN. The ENN assists notaries in endless cross-border cases by offering a range of practical, practical and informative tools via a secure platform. The ENN currently has almost 2,000 users, and I invite all colleagues present today to join us by registering free of charge on this platform. The new online cooperation system introduced through the Jubilee project will facilitate communication between notaries performing judicial functions in Europe. It will strengthen mutual trust in these procedures and complement mutual assistance tools such as the European Judicial Network in civil and commercial matters. Mr. Raul Radoy, Secretary General, General of the CNU, will give you more details on its functioning during his speech. The six notaries of Central Europe, which are leading the Jewelry project, share a common legal culture, deep bonds, and the special future of exercising judicial functions, particularly in subsection proceedings. The Jubilee projects offer an excellent opportunity to analyze the role of notary in this context in the light of recent developments in European law. I therefore urge these notaries to continue to cultivate their identity, a source of inspiration for other European notaries. Let us hope that the Jubilee project will be the first of many more to come. Thank you for your attention and I wish you an outstanding conference. Good afternoon for everybody. Thank you, President Marcos. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the six hexagonal countries involved in this project is Austria. Austria has coordinated the project and I therefore would like to ask the president of the Austrian Chamber of Civil Law Notaries for his welcoming speech, Mr. Michael Umfara. Thank you, Mr. Krakow. Dear President Markus, dear speakers and panelists, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by thanking KNU President Markus for his words and uh, Secretary General Radoy and the KNUE team for having accepted to be a partner of the project. Hosting the event at the premises of the Council of the Notariats of the European Union in Brussels today is a strong expression of this partnership. It is a great pleasure that I welcome you on behalf of the project coordinator, the Austrian Notariat, be it here in the room or via live stream on the screens. We very much appreciate the strong presence of representatives of the European Parliament, member states, justice councillors, and the commission, uh, the commission. This is a rare but excellent opportunity to discuss possible changes and improvements in national and EU law and policy. As I said, 
The Austrian Chamber of Civil Law Notaries was the coordinator of this in its size and scientific depths unprecedented project among the so-called hexagonal notaries. This is, as mentioned before, the inform informal cooperation of the chambers of notaries of the Czech Republic, Croatia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Hungary, and Austria. I am very happy that this project has achieved excellent results. These results will certainly continue to have effects in the long run, and I hope therefore outlast the project. At this point, I would like to thank my colleagues, uh, the presidents of the chambers of notaries of the hexagonal countries, for their willingness to participate in the project despite the challenges posed by the pandemic situation. The project made it obvious that in Central Europe there is a common legal culture that unites us. The Jubilee project has deliberately built on these similarities, which are the lines of connection between our countries in the exercise of court functions by notaries, mainly in succession matters. The potential for a further expansion of this proven concept has been recognized in the course of the project implementation. This became particularly evident the case of Slove Slovenia, where our project has now created an excellent empirical and data-driven basis for the discussion on the possible introduction of a court commissioner system for succession cases. Indeed, the takeover of court tasks by notaries plays an important role in the area of civil procedural law. The topic is a great importance, especially in the current time, because it is the question on how we can make our justice systems even more efficient, even closer to citizens, even more cost effective for the state, and thus overall make it fit for the future. Namely, in the context of the current challenges which as our societies are facing, namely the war in U Ukraine, inflation and increasing of living cost, I expect the outsourcing of non-contentious court tasks to become even more important. Notaries can be of help as they are independent and impartial public office holders, and we are ready to support the courts even more. Nevertheless, in many cases, the notary's function as a court body is still not known enough at EU level. Therefore, against the background of the concept of court in various EU instruments, we launched the project with EU funds. In Austria, the court commissioner system has gained very good experience and has not only developed excellent cooperation with the judiciary of for decades, but also developed expertise and know-how for the efficient handling of proceedings. This allows courts to conserve resources and focus more on other areas of law. At the same time, Austria's notaries perform important local functions, even in regions where there are no courts. Thanks to these important functions, we are also present as court commissioners in remote or structurally weak areas. Decisive success factors for a high-performing court commissioner system are a strict professional legal framework and also the application of certain professional regulations of justice, as well as ensuring quality through control mechanism and a high level of training and efficient procedures. At the same time, we cooperate closely with the judiciary in the area of digitization and coordinate with each other. One can speak of an Austrian model of success here, but it is even more potential, especially in the non-contentious proceedings. In particular, the court commissioner has provided citizens with great advantages in accessing the non-contentious judiciary. 
we also see the trend in this direction at EU level, and we would like to see it if the EU Justice Core Board could reflect this trend even more strongly, because there are many arguments for the development of such a concept in a modern state based on the rule of law. Finally, I would like to thank all those involved in the project who have contrib contributed over the past two years to the common goal of a better understanding of the non-contentious court proceedings by notaries. My special thanks go to the scientific team of the Universities of Graz, Professor Brigitta Lurger, and Vienna, Professor Karl Stöger, and the Economica Institute for Economic Research, Professor Christian Helmenstein, Karl Paner Scholte Stasch, Christian Behrer, and the chairwoman of the working groups, my colleagues Alice Perscher, Berenika Wünschowa, and Verena Notecker for their coordination. The Austrian Chamber of Civil Law Notaries will use the project results as a basis for further optimization of the court commissioner systems and would welcome it if the cooperation of this kind could be continued. Thank you very much. <laughs>